Dr Jung Hung Jun has been in detention for more than two years now on espionage charges which the Chinese government has not publicly substantiated in any way. His friends and supporters say that he is being persecuted purely because he's advocated online in his writings for democracy and liberalism. Dr Jung Hung Jun's messages are not easy to get out. He is denied access to writing materials, so typically he can only convey them through an intermediary, typically a lawyer or a consular official, that is allowed a rare visit. And that's exactly what's happened this time. Dr Jung Hung Jun has essentially dictated a message. It's in the form of a letter to an unnamed friend, which is now being distributed to the wider world on the eve of his long-awaited trial in a closed court tomorrow in Beijing. In the letter, Dr. Jung Hun Jun talks briefly about the impact the detention has had on his health. He says that his health is deteriorating and says that he has been denied for more than 26 months such basics as sunshine and fresh air. But broadly, and for most of the time in this message, he strikes a defiant tone. He says he's not willing to compromise on his beliefs and says that the Chinese government is, quote, taking revenge on him for airing his views. He also says that he will not resile from his views or show any weakness or compromise, even if he endures torture as a result. Dr. Jung Hun Jun briefly refers to the fact that he is unlikely to receive any sort of good news tomorrow. He says he has only a faint hope that he'll be let go. He also says to his supporters that he hopes that they convey to people in China the importance of his writing. The writings, he says, or that he implies, have landed in him in so much trouble with the Chinese government. His supporters are not optimistic about tomorrow. They fear the worst and they also fear that the very poisonous and difficult relationship between Australia and China may well further essentially stack the deck against Dr Jung, implying that he may well essentially see his prison term extended because of the bilateral woes. Australia has been pushing hard to get access to the trial. The Foreign Minister, Maurice Payne, has been saying that Australian diplomats should be allowed access. So far, we don't know whether that, that request has been granted, but observers say, given the political sensitivities around the trial and given the enormous resentment and rancour in the relationship between Australia and China, it's unlikely to be granted.